you acquire the three most iconic scooters, I would say, in British mod culture. That's right, yeah, I have, John. Um, once I had the collection and I sorted it all out, the opportunity for me to actually purchase the free Quadrophenia scooters was available. And so I jumped at the opportunity and the one you were actually sat on is a replica, 100% replica of the one Phil Daniels uh, was riding in the film. And the one that I'm actually standing next to here is a 100% replica of Sting or Ace Face as he was in the film, um, replica of his scooter. And then the other one is a replica of the one from the cover of the 1973 Quadrophenia LP um, that a young lad called Terry Kennett or nicknamed Chad was sat on that was actually used in the booklet and on the front cover. Now I believe because there was obviously a crash scene involving Jimmy's scooter yeah. and also Sting's scooter went over the cliff and yeah. so on, there were a number of replicas made for the film, That's they right. needed one or two of them. Yeah. Do you get sort of the real serious aficionados pointing out the little differences and discrepancies and were there some obvious discrepancies that people spotted and you know but we, we wouldn't know at a passing glance that's right um the post office scene when jimmy got run over by the post office van um that had a square headline um, that was like a mark three um Lambressa scooter um the, the actual sting scooter they actually made four of them um because two went over the cliff um I know somebody that owns an original scooter frame um, which he's going to re rebuild um, because he built this one actually right next to the original one when it was, he's got um, photographs of it and everything so um, some people say like oh that's the wrong red which is, that is the original red it's like a Ford Escort red um, so a lot of these scooters have got the wrong red um, you've got like for instance the walking stick here at the back um, a lot of people didn't know the reason why that was there because Sting couldn't control the gears properly he actually fell off the Sting scooter and um, sprained his ankle and in the first shot you see Sting appear you see the walking stick there but it's not in the rest of the film because it was accidentally left in the scooter um, when they did that first shot. Wow so somebody's actually sat there and pointed that out yeah I've seen that film 50 times and I don't think I've ever ever noticed that but now I'm going to be looking out for right. it. Right and the other thing as well on the scooter um, the actual uh, Rotax disc if you have a look at that it's because uh, it's a film that's supposed to represent 64 and Brighton the number uh, the Rotax is still on there on the actual scooter in the film and it says 1978. Now Paul I thought I've seen every type of American US Parker uh, right. there is but I've noticed you've got one to my right here that has a blue zip. The reason why that is is that when they advertise for mods to turn up for the film extras in Quadrophenia down in Brighton wardrobe thought well hang on a minute we've got a problem here they're all turning up in their parkers we've got our parkers but there's going to be like confusion whose parkers who because they were taking them off for various different scenes so somebody in wardrobe had the bright idea of putting a blue zip inside the parker now originally in the film they were actually the actors were actually told to zip it right up and hide it but if you watch the film, you actually see the zips down here. You'll see the blue zip is uh, exposed. And that is because that's an original one that was actually used in the film. And the suit underneath is an original mod suit from one of the extras that was in the film. Um, he was able to keep the suit. Um, he was so thin, a 17 year old young man who was a postman at the time in Brighton. Um, unfortunately, we don't know who the Parker belonged to because the label inside is actually disintegrated and disappeared now. So, but I had a fortunate had the signature inside of Phil Daniels um, because that was the actual one that was used with the scooter in the Alfie Bow video that was released uh, recently.